Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. A couple of weeks ago I made a tutorial on how you can play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker with HD texture packs and a lot of other quality of life improvements on your Android device. And today instead I thought that we would check out how to play the ultimate version of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on our Android devices. And by ultimate I truly mean it. I'm using my Odin 2 but the things we're about to see in this video can be done on just about any Android device. So if you want to play the Ocarina of Time in super smooth 60 FPS, or perhaps you want to switch out the graphics for the 3DS assets, or maybe you want to tweak the game beyond recognition, then this video is for you. When we're done here, you'll have the best optimized version of Ocarina of Time possible tailored to your personal preference. And even if this is not exactly something brand new, I've come to understand that many of you out there still haven't tried this wonderful port of Ocarina of Time for Android. So now, without any further delay, let's jump into it. First off, let's take a look at the Android port in its default state. Truth be told, the game looks stunning in widescreen, which might be satisfying for many of you, however, I'm going to delve into more enhancements that you can make to elevate your gaming experience. And as you can see, just with a simple tap on the button located on the top left corner, a menu emerges, granting us ability to tweak virtually every aspect of this marvelous game. In this footage, I've increased the resolution to 200% of its native resolution and perhaps most importantly synchronized the refresh rate with my Odin 2 screen, ensuring that it runs at a buttery smooth 60 frames per second. Even if it's not technically running at true 60 frames per second, the game performs better than ever before, I can assure you that. But before we dive into exploring further tweaks within the Android port of this game, let's first understand how to get it up and running. The unofficial source port, unrelated to Nintendo, is called Ship of Harkinian. It was initially released in 2022 for Windows and has since been ported to numerous other platforms, including Android in late 2023. Anyway, to get started you need to download and install Ship of Harkinian on your Android device. Ship of Harkinian will then need an Ocarina of Time ROM file to work. And it's important to note that Ship of Harkinian does not provide a ROM file for you to use. You will need to supply your own, which you can create from your own N64 cartridge or GameCube disc. They have a guide on their site detailing on how you can create your own ROM, and I recently uploaded a video demonstrating how to dump your own games, including N64 cartridges. If you are unsure how to create your own ROM file or don't have the necessary equipment, you'll need to search for it online, but you'll be on your own in that regard. And once you know what you need to make this work, it's time to download Ship of Harkinian. Simply go to the link provided in the video description on your Android device. This link will direct you to Shipwright, which is the Android fork of Ship of Harkinian. Click on releases and download the latest version, which at the time of making this video is version 1.2.1. And it's the APK file that you need. Once the download is complete, you can choose to install it immediately. If your browser prompts you to install it, allow the installation process to proceed. After installation is complete, proceed to launch Ship of Harkinian. You'll need to grant Ship of Harkinian permission to make changes on your device, and after granting it permission, you may encounter a message indicating that the OTR file is missing. This is expected the first time you launch the app, so simply exit out of the app and run it again. And this time, Ship of Harkinian will ask you if it should generate the OTR files for you. Click yes, and now you have to provide your own ROM file, aka the game dump. It doesn't really matter where you have it, I have mine in the downloads folder on my internal storage. It's named zeloot.z64. Click on it, let the game extract and do not close Ship of Harkinian while it's extracting. Once complete, it will ask you if you want to extract another, but just click on no and that's it. The game will launch and you now have the Android port of Ocarina of Time on your device, complete with the tweak menu and everything. And to access the tweak menu, simply press the button on your device corresponding to the minus button on a Nintendo Switch. The location on this button may vary depending on which Android device you're using, but on the Odin 2 it's located in the exact same spot. 
There's literally hundreds of gameplay tweaks, graphical enhancements, fixes, cheats and many many other things for you to play around with straight out of the box. Just look at all these boxes you can check and tweak the game to your liking. But we're not gonna stop there, we're gonna go a bit further. Some of you may be fans of the 3DS versions of this game and I'm very happy to let you know that there's even possible with a button press to swap out the assets of the N64 version that I'm playing here to those of the Ocarina of Time 3D version from the Nintendo 3DS. Yes. Those assets doesn't come out of the box however as they are community made mods for Ship of Harkinian. So what you need to do is head over to the two links named 3DS graphical mods in the video description, scroll down a bit and manually download the assets to your Android device. So do that for both links and once you're done you need some sort of file browser and file extractor for the next step in this guide. I'm using Set Archiver, which is a free app that you can download from the Google Play Store. You will have two zip archives in your downloads folder named ott3d.zip and something 3dsexperience.zip. Extract both of these files into a folder that you will remember. The zip files will contain one folder each, which on their end contains a bunch of files or assets. And what we need to do now is to move all the files into a specific mods folder inside the installations directory of Ship of Harkinian. So multi-select as many files as you can and head off to that specific folder and paste them there. That folder is located under Android Data com.dshi.soh Files and Mods. Make sure that you allow said archiver or whichever file browser you're using to make changes on your device and once you reach the mods folder, paste the files there. So do this for all the files that you extracted from the downloaded zip files, then close down said archiver and start up Ship of Harkinian again. Once again, click on the button to access the tweak menu and head over to enhancements in the middle. Scroll down to Graphics and then select the top option called Mods. There you can check the box to use alternate assets. This will, in the blink of an eye, swap assets between the original N64 assets and the 3DS assets. And you're of course also aware that the N64 version didn't have any gyro functions. Well, with Ship of Harkinian you are in charge, remember? You decide what should work and what should not work. Simply go inside the controller settings and enable the gyro. You can tweak the gyro sensitivity should you want that or just leave it at default. Or maybe you're a big fan of the D-pad quick item swapper from newer Zelda games like Twilight Princess. Well, of course you should enable that as well. With the ship of Harkinian's port of Ocarina of Time, the sky truly is the limit. If you think the game and even the master quest is too easy, you can bump up the difficult level. Or you can randomize the whole game so that items show up where they weren't supposed to be in the first place, granting endless replayability. Or in other words, you can play this masterpiece just as you always wanted, with the best from both the past and the future. Thank you so much for sitting through my guide on how to play Ocarina of Time the absolute best way possible, your way, on any Android device that you want. If you enjoyed it or if it gave you any ideas on how to play Ocarina of Time the next time, please give it a thumbs up and definitely comment down below how you have tweaked your game or intend to tweak it. If you haven't done it already, consider subscribing to Tech Cravers as it really means a lot to me. And once again, thanks for watching, happy gaming everyone.